Here we're looking at Outdoor Active on the Apple Watch connected to the Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max. In order for this to work, you need Outdoor Active installed on your phone. So you can see the mapping here. So once you're into the mapping, you just use the dial to zoom in and out. And then this highlights your current point of where you are. And if you touch it and you point your watch at something, we're now pointed at Brat Tor. If we swing around this way, if you go too far out, right, then you lose the OS. It's not so easy to see, very, very small. So if we zoom in there, then we can see that Chat Tor is that way we can see that sharp tour is directly ahead it is actually pretty accurate to be honest because when you when you line it up there it's kind of pointing to sharp tour which is that one there and then when you move around you kind of got to try and get your wrist parallel and then you can see that hair tour is that one there so it does point you in pretty accurate um, positions and then you just cancel that and then you you're centered where you are but when you move the map does not move the map only moves when you touch and hold that, then the map moves as you move. But if you touch and hold that, then it stays basically sort of north, true north. And of course, obviously you can zoom in and out. Just remember that whilst this is quite good this is a touch screen so if this rained if it was raining this touch screen would become all but useless and you are fairly limited to what you can do you've got uh, some stats here which we'll take a look at later and obviously your position here in your elevation you can record a track and I'm not quite sure what that does and then you head back to that point there to find it you just search for the O press that and then to go back to the watch you double press this one here by the looks of it Obviously your watch has to be connected to your phone, which is connected to your knee bone, which is connected to your thigh bone. And as long as you're all connected and hooked up, then obviously everything comes through here, you know, perfectly well. Also, just remember that the battery in this watch is not going to last very long. The Garmin Fenix, for example, will last in GPS mode something like two or three days, literally 50 or 60 hours of GPS. I would imagine that the battery in this will be gone, you know, in half a day or something like that. It really won't last very long because you're literally charging an Apple Watch up every day in general use anyway so you know just bear that in mind and i have a video uh, where i show the limitations of trying to charge this as well uh, when you're camping and, and hiking so be sure to you know check that out it's uh, hiding in this in this lot of video somewhere and as i said just remember that the you know the rain and a wet um, and a wet watch is going to be quite problematic if you got this far then i'm very sure that you enjoyed this video please give a like and a subscribe leave a comment below and i will see you 
in another video. Thank you very much for watching.